Hi, I'm Drew Taylor, CEO of AstroPrint, and I'm going to take you through a walkthrough of how to use AstroPrint clusters as a maker. Uh, so as a reminder, there's four roles uh, in AstroPrint clusters. The two required ones are admins, sometimes called regional coordinators, and makers who are actually making things for the cluster. In addition to that, we have uh, couriers and then also requesters, which are people that are requesting the product to be delivered to them. But this is for makers. Now, once you log in, the first thing you'll notice is we will repeatedly hit you up with this uh, little warning in the bottom right. Due to privacy regulations, we can't let uh, system administrators email you even after you join a cluster unless you opt in to be contacted. So it's very important that you go here and opt in to let administrators contact you. Otherwise, uh, how you can't communicate uh, effectively in the system. Uh, so once you click there, it, all, it brings you to this account settings tab. So let's kind of go through everything that you can do on this page. Now, the first thing you'll want to do is allow admins in the cluster to actually contact you by email. You may want to give your phone number as well, especially if uh, carriers, couriers are going to be coming to your house to pick, pick up product. Uh, you may want your, your phone number available to them, but that's up to you. You may want to put in your address uh, as well. Again, it's up to you with however you're using the system, but if a carrier is coming to pick up products from your house that you're making or from your building or office, then you do want to put in uh, your actual address. So, so admins know where to send someone to pick that up. You could also just put in a general city if you just kind of want to be marked on the map, uh, but not have your address in. Uh, then you want to come down and Hit share your location with the AP test cluster. This lets, uh, again, carriers within the cluster have access to your address to be able to come uh, pick up the product. Uh, if your cluster is doing something else, like you're delivering uh, what you make somewhere, then you know this isn't so necessary. You can also put in some information about you that other people in the cluster can see. Uh, and if your cluster has subgroups, you can join those subgroups here. So that's kind of it for the accounts tab. Make sure you hit save settings uh, whenever you change something on here. Now let's go through each of the tabs on the left. First, the designs tab. So uh, you cannot upload designs. The administrators upload the designs that they need made. So the main thing you do here is download the designs and then you slice and print or run them through your CNC, whatever you're doing for, for manufacturing, but you get the designs here. Uh, you can also uh, look at some notes that may be on here uh, for each of the designs. They may even have like printing notes, like a resolution they want something made at, you name it. The printers tab. Now the, the name's slightly misleading. You, you don't have to put in 3D printers here. You can put in all of your manufacturing capabilities. So you can see here, I, I put in uh, one 3D printer I have access to, multiple CNC machines. Let's say I also have an Ultimaker 3, or let's say I have several of those Ultimaker 3s, but I want to let the administrator know I can do ABS only. That's all I have. Wow. And then that's in there. Now, the uh, biggest benefit here is your administrator will have a bird's eye view of what you and everyone else in the cluster has access to uh, for making things. So you want to put in, you know, uh, everything you have access to here. So they have an idea how many CNC machines, how many sewing machines, how many, you know, uh, 3D printers are available to the cluster. Now prints, this is where you'll be doing, you know, uh, most of your daily activity on here. Uh, and all you're really doing is reporting prints and reporting the status of those prints. So you can report an individual print by just coming here and selecting which object was created, which machine did you make it on, right? And how many were made. Uh, oh, and if you could do this without it being in any type of a batch, and then you see 
these prints just show up generally in the system. Most people work with batches. Uh, so you want to create a batch, say uh, May 27th batch one. You could make a description for that and add the batch. I'll click on the batch and now I can report prints inside the batch, right? Let's say I made 20 of these PPE headbands. They're all reported within the batch. Uh, and you can see an IDs have been created for every single uh, part produced and in the batch and then an ID for the batch itself. Now you may not need that at all, but depending on how your cluster operates, but if you need to put IDs on each part to track every part all the way through, here's the ID you would use. Your carrier may be coming to pick up this exact batch and you may want to write on the box batch 39Q, right? That, that's how you would use that if, if your batch uses it. Uh, now the status for all of these is printed. Now that just means you printed them, but they're not ready for a collection. Maybe you need to do quality control. You need to look over them all first. When you're ready for them to be picked up, you go to ready for collection, and then it asks you where do you want it picked up, right? Uh, and then if you have your address uh, in here under your account settings, you may choose your address. Maybe in your cluster, you drop everything off at someone else's place or their business or a local medical office. Who knows? You could select that if it's been dropped off. But for this, we'll say it's at my place, Solana Beach. And we're going to save that. You can see the status is now ready for collection. And at that point, you're pretty much done. Uh, now it's up to your admin, your regional coordinator, to manage getting that picked up and then delivered to the facility it needs to be delivered to. And that's it. That's uh, all you really need to know to get started using the system as a maker. There's a lot more to it for, for admins and, and uh, delivery drivers and whatnot. But please let us know if you run into any uh, issues or, or bugs and uh, if there's any additional features that, that you see benefit in. All right. Thanks so much.